Many of us can share stories of garden disasters, and probably the one that pops to mind is seeds that never germinate. Folks, there are many such stories in gardening, and whether it be your seeds, your hanging baskets, your containers, generally the one issue that is always prime is water. What and how can we use to alleviate that to turn us into great gardeners? Folks, the product that works for me and I know it'll work for you, I've used it for many, many years, is this stuff over here. It's called palm peat. This is a consistent, high quality, horticultural growing medium. And we call it a medium because it's not a soil. It is the outside of a coconut that has been shaved and it has then been compressed to form this block. Uh, this is a one liter block and when you add four liters of water to it, it then fluffs up, reconstitutes to form a eight liters of this beautiful palm peat. What palm peat ensures is good root development, good seed germination, healthy roots, flower and fruit development, all in one. What we know is that the palm peat's best benefit and most important benefit is the fact that it can hold moisture. We saw that the four liters of water simply just got sucked up into this to create eight liters of bulk of product. Remember, you don't need to use it all at once. It can simply stay in this container and you can use it as you need. But what is important is the high water retention. It's suitable aeration, amazing aeration, because it's got, it's light, it's fluffy, and we know that we need air pockets in any growing medium to encourage good root development. And not only good root development, but also good germination. And most importantly, this also has antifungal benefits. Palm peat is also free of weeds, pests and insect organisms and has a balanced pH of between 5.4 and 6.8, which is ideal for germination and for plant growth. So folks, if you've been really bad at sowing seeds and getting them to even germinate, then this is the method that you use. You simply take a bit of the palm peat, pop it into a tray. This is a little seed germinating tray. Pop it in here. Level it off with a piece of wood. Do not push it down or compact it because then you're removing all the air particles out of it. Next thing, your seed of choice. And in particular, these would be, and your application here would be seeds that need to be grown into any small container first. In other words, not in situ seed sowing. In situ seed sowing means that you can take the, the seed packet and you can sow it directly into the garden where this would be more for seeds like beetroot, even pet grass, zinnias, coriander, cabbage, cauliflower, and even kale. So all of those which need a little interim before they go into the garden. And this is where we make it very, very easy. Take the seed, pop a little bit into a container, take a little bit of your palm peat, add it to it, give it a good mix, and then simply add this on top of your seed tray. Once you've distributed it all over, simply take your little plank, firm it down. Remember to label your seed and put it in a well-lit spot where it will remain in good light. And thereafter, all you've got to do is make sure that you give it a watering soon as it starts changing color. Remember, palm peat in its dry form has a particular color. It is lighter. Um, and certainly as soon as you add moisture to it, it becomes much darker. So it immediately tells you that it needs more water. Palm peat works beautifully in potting soil. What it does, it's giving you the aeration, it's giving you the water holding capacity that we want. Plus we know it's got a good pH and you're making those nutrients that are there better available for your plants. So in terms of ratios, folks, if you've got one liter of potting soil, we would use two large handfuls of palm peat. That's basically it. Don't use any more than that because you don't want to upset your ratio. Give it a good mix and away you go. So for successful seed germination, propagation, containers and hanging baskets, folks, you can't only have one block of palm peat in your gardening arsenal. You need at least five or six.